Hi and welcome back to That Office Guy and today guys we're going to show you how you can reset your Microsoft Teams password. This is actually a really simple and quick to follow tutorial so if you do find it useful hit that like button and uh, yeah if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all of the hints and tips that we do here at That Office Guy then do consider subscribing as well. By subscribing you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at That Office Guy. Right, with that being said, uh, like I said, this is a really simple, quick and easy to follow tutorial. Let's jump right on down into the desktop and show you exactly how to reset your password. Okay, so here we are on our desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to show you how how to quickly and easily um, you know, reset your Microsoft Teams password. Now, um, in this ex particular example, I've actually got my Microsoft Teams desktop application here, and it's asking me to sign in with one of my existing accounts, or down at the bottom here, I could use another account or sign up. So in the case of you guys, you might only have one account, and it's just asking you for a username and password. So I'm just gonna quickly click on this, and this is the kind of thing that you should be experiencing. This is what you should be able to see. So it'll be asking you for a, a, an email address, and then it'll also ask you for that um, that password, right? And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the email address here of uh, that, uh, so nick at that office guy. Um, dot com and then what we're going to do is click next okay and so at this point here that it's going to start thinking okay well we need a password right and if you do not know your password you can go ahead and actually click on the forgotten my password section just here so if I give that a click that's then going to ask me for the email address which is copied across from the um, other field that we've just entered there so nick at the office guy dot com and then we're going to have to enter this particular phrase into this box here so we're just going to go with uh, type this in and uh, make sure we get this right. Okay, and then we'll just click next on that. Okay, and now it's gonna ask me for verification steps, okay? So um, now it's gonna say, okay, send it to a, a, an alternative email address, um, call my office phone number, uh, approve a notification uh, on my authenticator app, um, enter a code from the authenticator app. So lots of different ways you can go about doing this. It all depends on what you have set up with your Microsoft Teams account or your Microsoft 365 account, okay? So the most common one will be the email address verification and I'll send you an email with a verification code. Um, and then you basically just go to your email and grab that. Alternatively, you can get that from a phone uh, so your phone number, you can do that. They can give you a call. Uh, or you can use something like an authenticator app, which is probably one of the better ways to do it in my personal opinion. Um, so the authenticator apps, uh, you can either use Google or Microsoft authenticator apps, and then, you know, basically it will send a code or um, you can set notifications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the most common method for verifying the account here. So in order to verify the account, I'm going to use the email but again, you could all these other options that you could also use. So I'm going to click on email here. And it's going to email me that code. I'm just going to grab my email and uh, open up my account here. And I'm just going to grab that code and I'm going to put the code into the verification box just here. Okay, so with that verification code in there, we can just go ahead and click on next. And then it's going to ask me for the telephone number. So I can quickly just do that. Okay, so what it needed me to do is actually hit the hash key and that would have finished that verification. So quite a straightforward process. And then we get to enter a new password and confirm that password. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly do this. OK, 
Okay, and once that's been done, there you go. You can get back into your account. Your password has been reset and it is as simple as that. You can go ahead and click here to get you straight back into that login section there and you'll be able to log straight back into Microsoft Teams. We'll put the new password in, we'll click sign in, allow my organization, I won't, um, and I'll just click on uh, sign in with this app only. And now that's going to load up Microsoft Teams um, and you should have full access once again to your uh, account here. So very straightforward to reset your password if you ever needed to uh, using Microsoft Teams itself. There's no need to really get too involved with an administrator and you should be able to take care of this by yourself. Of course, if any of these steps do not work, then you will be able to obviously contact the administrator as needed. So guys, hopefully you have found this video useful and informative. If you have, then do go ahead and hit that like button for me. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything that we do here at That Office Guy, then do consider subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you'll be kept up to date with all of the hints and tips that we cover here at That Office Guy. And with this being said, I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one.